All right, welcome to the Niagara County Extension Office in Lusk, Wyoming. My name is Erin Smith, and today we're gonna make chunky mustard pickles. Um, we're kind of excited. We are trying some new canning recipes this fall since we are having a bumper crop of vegetables from our high tunnel here at the fairgrounds. So we've decided these mustard pickles are gonna be a fun new one to add to our canning repertoire. So our first step, we've already um, got a lot of our cucumbers and our onions cut up. So we're just gonna start by peeling our cucumbers. And when you are making pickles, you need to make sure you're using fresh from the garden um, cucumbers. You can't use store-bought cucumbers to make pickles because they have coated them in wax and that wax prevents um, them from making pickles. So you always wanna use just garden fresh cucumbers when you're gonna make pickles. And um, so we've got our cucumber peeled. We're just gonna cut it in half and we're gonna scoop out the seeds just very easily with a spoon, um, top to bottom. And I'm actually gonna just run my blade down the side kinda to give me a guide. And then we're just gonna scoop. And of course, the first ones that we did not being on video went super smooth. We're just gonna peel out those seeds and the same on this other side. So once we've got our seeds out, we're just going to dice our cucumbers into um, uniform size chunks. And like everything else, um, when we're doing food preservation, we want to keep our pieces of fruits and vegetables as even as possible so that um, as they go through the process, all of those um, pieces get heated um, the same. And it also makes them look really pretty. So this recipe calls for 14 cups. So this, is, I have 12 in my big bowl and that makes my 14 cups. So we're gonna go ahead and add that to the bowl. Then we're going to add our six cups of finely chopped onions and we did use our food chopper to chop our onions into nice evenly um, shaped pieces and that really speeds up the process when we're doing our food processing. Um, so we're just going to stir those together and then we're going to sprinkle it with a quarter cup of canning salt and when you're doing any type of food preservation and it calls for salt, you wanna make sure that you are using your canning and pickling salt and not your iodized table salt. So the canning and pickling salt is plain salt. There's nothing added, so there's no caking agent or anti-caking agent, there's no iodine. Um, so that keeps your canned products really clear um, and not cloudy. So we're just gonna add in a quarter cup of our canning and pickling salt. And we're just gonna sprinkle that over, stir it in, and then we're gonna cover this up and let it stand um, for an hour. So we'll bring the camera over and show you what this looks like. And then we're gonna cover it and we'll let it stand for an hour and then we'll jump back on um, for our next steps. All right, we'll see you guys in an hour. <laughs> 